Hi, I'm Stephanie, and welcome back to Building a Path to Success. First thing I want to say, I'm repping Cheney University, the first HBCU, CU, and always exciting to um, represent and give an HBCU a shout out. Now, I want to let you know that on this channel, I focus on sharing a lot of information and a little bit in short periods of time for high school and or college students so that they can build a meaningful resume. In order for your resume to be meaningful, you must do certain programs to complement your formal education. I share information on internships, REUs, uh, SERPs, conferences, scholarships, and other opportunities. The goal is for each student to become more competitive as they work towards their individual career goals. If you like this type of inf information, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Please hit the notification bell so that you can be notified as soon as another video is released. I'm trying to keep up. There's so many videos um, because summer 2022, Lots of things are opening up. They have been closed. Hands-on opportunities have been closed because of the pandemic. They have opened back up. So I'm trying to keep up and give you the information. I found that over my time of working with students that a lot of students are qualified. They just didn't know about these opportunities until after the fact. And then they were like, oh, I should have, I could have. These are the things that make you more marketable, make you stand out, and actually separate you from the pack. Suggestion is applied to as many as you can that you qualify for, that you're interested in without stressing yourself out. Most, not all, most will start open up in October, November, giving you until um, January or February 1 so that you have your winter break if you're on a trimester, I mean, if you're on a semester system so that you can get this done. Okay, and saying all of that, I am kind of excited because I'm gonna share one with you now on, um, uh, so REU, and it's, it's going to be at the Dolphin Island Sea Lab, which is in Alabama. This is exciting. Uh, this is the first REU that I have seen um, where they're going to have virtual information meetings. You have to register for it, but they're virtual information meetings. They're coming up. There are two more left uh, Wednesday, November 17th at 4 p.m. and Wednesday, December 1st at 10 a.m. so that you can actually ask questions. They can give you more information. And so this is exciting in itself. For summer of 2022, the program will run from May 30th until August 5th. Like any other program, you must participate the entire time. The application will close February 11th of 2022. So this is funded by the National Science Foundation and you'll be able to do independent research projects while working under the direction of a faculty mentor. And this is really good because in school, you don't have the opportunity to work in a lab 40 hours a week for eight to 10 weeks. This will allow you to get a lot of hands-on training. So this is exciting. I'm excited. So uh, hopefully you're just as excited. Who is gonna be eligible to apply for this uh, opportunity? So they're gonna look for undergraduates who are rising sophomores, juniors, or seniors, which means that that's current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. So if you're a current freshmore, freshman, sophomore, or a junior, and you're interested in, now because they say freshmen, sophomore, and juniors, they're going to have a little bit broader um, base opposed to the ones who are looking for people who are at the end of their education or graduate uh, school. So there is a little bit broader. So they have to have a broad interest in ecology, biology, chemistry, geology, biomedicine, and physical um, and environmental sciences. You cannot have graduated. And I think that's a part of the funding in REUs. You cannot have graduated. I do have some other programs for that though. Um, 
If you participated in the past, you're not eligible for a second internship without special permission. That's a whole nother process. And they're looking for minorities, veterans, non-traditional students, and those from underrepresented groups are encouraged to apply. And that also means students with disabilities. Stipends of $5,000 will be provided for the 10 week full-time program. That means about 40 hours a week. Students will be provided on-campus housing. Wow, everyone is not providing that this year. A lot of places are not providing that. You're gonna get the $5,000, which will be taxed. And on-campus housing, an additional food stipend will be given to you. If you're gonna be coming from outside the mobile Alabama area, you can apply for travel assistance ship up to $500. So if your plane's 800 and you can get up to 500, that's all. And if you can plan quick, you know, as soon as you find out you've been accepted, get, you know, try to get that plane ticket right away so it can be as cheap as it can be. You know, just because they're giving you up to 500 doesn't mean you want to use all of it. And you're going to get the $5,000 in housing. Wow. Okay. Online application. They want college transcripts. They can be unofficial because you're going to have to upload them. So they can only be unofficial if you're uploading. Uh, two letters of recommendations. Um, please request letters at least two weeks prior to the application deadline. Wrong answer. Once you find out the programs that you will be applying to, you need to email, talk to your professors, mentors, whoever first, and then you need to email them the information so that two weeks is not always enough time. You don't know their agenda. They have other things planned. They may have grades due. They may be grading projects. It may have been uh, anything. They may be at a conference. Once you decide what you're applying for, you need to be courteous and respectful of their time as well. Give them a few weeks so that after a few weeks, and you know, then you can say when it's two or three weeks out, uh, Dr. So and so, I'm not sure if you remember, but I have applied for these programs and the deadlines are coming up. I just wanted to talk to you to see if you were able to get those, those uh, letters of recommendation out. Period. You could do a check in two weeks ahead of time, but you don't want to give them two weeks. Okay. Of course, like with any application, the whole thing has to be uh, completed on time. And there's information. I will leave information in the description below. Remember, this one is taking freshmen. I just did one about um, international research, and you had to have done something like this in order to even apply. My freshmen, STEM people, my sophomores, apply. Doesn't mean you're gonna get all of them, you may not get any, but you have to put your hat in the ring to be considered. Apply for as many as you can. This is a great opportunity. If you're interested in the virtual email, I mean the virtual information meetings, there's two left. So I'm going to put the main link in the description below as you read through and you, you'll see the information sessions. Sign up. Maybe they can give you some additional research. At least it makes it look like, oh, you're interested. So good luck. If you like this information, please give me a thumbs up. I have to say, I had this, I'm just starting this channel. I was on another channel. Had to switch over to here. So it's like starting all over. So please support me. And I will continue to look for REUs and internships and scholarships and conferences for you. If it's a specific area you're looking for, let me know and I can see if I can find anything. I may not be able to, but I will look. Thanks for sharing and um, supporting me. And until next time, take care.